It's a question from Samantha Grobler. Um, good day. I need advice concerning laws of building managed by a body corporate. Uh, any info concerning laying a complaint against someone, part of the body corporate? So it doesn't necessarily say whether it's an owner, the body corporate itself, or simply uh, like a trustee or something along those lines. So you might need to kind of cover, cover all those bases. It's just unfortunate we don't have a little bit more detail because the devil, okay. as always in law, is in the details. Um, you know, when when the, the listener says, I've got a problem against someone in the body corporate, as you pointed out, that can be a, ver a variety of different uh, different entities, okay? Could be an owner of another unit, body corporate itself, maybe a tenant belonging to another owner within the, within the scheme itself. And depending on what the conduct is of those particular mm -hmm. people, um, that's also going to change what you can do in the circumstances. Um, so, look, uh, normally when these things come up, if it's a body corporate issue and it's the, the actual body corporates and you've got a problem with them, there's a CSOS, uh, CSOS availability for you to lay complaints and sort of get them in line or get a direction from CSOS in the circumstances. Um, and then the minute it starts being, you know, if it's, if it's a neighbor or perhaps a tenant of a neighbor, um, you know, you may need to go a different course. The, you know, maybe laying a complaint with the body corporate so that they can address it with the owner or lay penalties against the owner for whatever conduct it might be, or the conduct of the tenant. Remember, the tenant is still has to uphold the body corporate rules um, that the owner is subject to. So it might be a circumstance like that, or if it really does get, you know, if there's something that's really uh, sticks out, it might be a circumstance where you have to approach a court, you know, for an interdict or an application to compel or whatever the thing is. It's just difficult circumstances because really as i say the devil's in the details what is that conduct um in the circumstances what is actually happening and then you can sort of gear and direct which approach you are taking in order to get the uh the uh problem remedied so uh sure. samantha if you if you do listen um you know pop us another email maybe give us a bit more detail we'd love to to explore uh, a little bit more detail in another episode if that's possible cool yeah perfect Awesome. Right, so I don't know if you Thanks have anything so more to yeah, add there. No, that's, that's, that's 100% right. It's um, uh, Because, I mean, uh, uh, having the details, you'd probably then be able to spend like a good five, 10 minutes uh, going through the process. But for now, unfortunately, it's just, yeah, it's way too broad. Yeah, yeah.